Hey, what is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports gematria. Just want to talk about Luka Dunzik and his Olympic debut and the Hebrew calendar coincidence. And also the uh, number 77 that just continues to follow Luka around in the last two years of the NBA. Um, I made a little post here. Unlike Kevin Durant, Luka Dunzik knows how to carry a team during these Olympic Games by scoring 48 points in his first ever Olympic debut today. Uh, we saw Kevin Durant only score 10 points in his uh, first game. <laughs> Poor number 7. So we have number 77, Rosh crushing it, and then we have number 7, not so crushing it. Uh, for Luka, Luka's debut today was the uh, 149th day of Luca's current age. 149th day of his current age. And he wears the number 77. If we write out 77, 77 sums to 149 and 175. And today was the 17th day of the fifth month on the Hebrew religious side of the calendar written 175. So on the 149th day of his current age, the 17th day of the 5th month on the Hebrew religious, 175. Number 77, Luka Dunzik, 77 sums to 149 and 175, crushes his Olympic debut. The number 77 connection has been following Luka around ever since I started to take note in last year's NBA season. Uh, not this previous NBA season, but the year before that, so two years ago, two seasons ago. Uh, we saw longtime NBA commissioner David Stern, who sums to 44, die at the age of 77 on the fourth day of the fourth month for the Hebrew civil. David Stern was a proud, practicing Jewish man. Gematria is a Hebrew Jewish practice. We're also using the Hebrew calendar. It all comes together. Last season, this last season, um... NBA number 77 Luka and the Mavericks opened up the season by facing the Suns in the 175th all-time head-to-head matchup between the two teams. So Luka number 77 opens up the NBA season last, last year playing the 175th all-time head-to-head matchup between Mavericks and Suns. And then um, the second time the Suns and Mavericks played this last year, it was on January 30th, which just so happened to be the seventh day of the fifth month for the Hebrew civil side of the calendar, 175. So Luca, in the last year, has played games on both sides of the Hebrew calendar when it was the 17th day of the fifth month. We just saw him play on the 17th day of the fifth month on the Hebrew religious side for his Olympic debut. And then earlier this year, uh, we saw him play... On January 30th, which which was the 17th day of the fifth month on the Hebrew civil side, so he's played on the the 17th day of the fifth month on both the Hebrew civil side and the Hebrew religious side uh, in the last seven to eight months. The second NBA game the Mavericks played this last season after they played the Suns in the 175th all-time head-to-head matchup. It was on Christmas, December 25th, which had 77 date numerology. And number 77, Luca and the Mavericks were playing against Los Angeles Lakers, which sums to 175. And the number 77 sums to 175. So you can see how these, this the number 77, 175, 149, they all just kind of follow him around. Um, that game was the only was the only head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams for the regular season scheduled in the first half of the season, and it took place at Staples Center, which sums the 77. The third game, Mavericks then followed up and played the Los Angeles Clippers, which was the third game for the season, playing inside Staples Center, number 77, back-to-back. -back. And that was the game Luka and the Mavericks were winning with 77 points by halftime over the Clippers. That was that huge blowout game. It was on a Sunday. I remember that. It was just crazy. It was like 77 to like 30 at like halftime or something like that. I say all that to say this. Luca's second Olympic game will be played on Thursday, the 29th of July, a day with 77 date numerology on the Gregorian. 
um, number 77, Luca. The number 77 just follows this guy around, like no matter what, in the NBA season and in the Olympics. You know, all the 77s just follow him around. It's, it's pretty fascinating to me. I've been taking note of it ever since he debuted in the uh, NBA season two years ago, which was the year that uh, David Stern died at the age of 77. David Stern, 44, on the fourth day of the fourth month, died at the age of 77. I've just been noticing these 77 connections for Luca. Uh, in the beginning of this last season, all the first three games that the Mavericks played all connected to the number 77, all the way up into the halftime score. And then now we have an Olympic debut on the 149th day of his age, the 17th day of the fifth month on the Hebrew religious side, 77 sums to 149 and 175. And then his second Olympic game is going to be on a day with 77 date numerology for the Gregorian. So I just thought that was fascinating. Uh, if you like Luca and you like the Mavericks and you're just looking for number connections with Luca, all you have to do is look for the number 77. If you look for the number 77, you'll you'll find the pattern most likely, one way or another. So just wanted to share that. Hopefully this is cool, fun insight, some neat info. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next time.